only on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Now you're playing with power. Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again. And this time we're going to look at game number 13 in our 20 from the Nintendo Entertainment System series. This game was created by Tecmo in 1991. And it is the first sequel to the awesome Tecmo Bowl. Uh, this game was super awesome. It had a full regular season, full all sorts of cool bells and whistles of the NFL. And this game is called Tecmo Super Bowl. And uh, the first Tecmo Bowl was actually pretty good. But it did not have a complete NFL season, nor did it have all the uh, licensed players and teams. But uh, this does. Uh, there are a few players or so that uh, did not have that uh, did not have the NFL PA marketing contract, so they are not uh, displayed by name. They are called like QB Bills or QB Eagles or something. This game has pretty good music. I actually think Tecmo Bowl One had better music. But this has such such cool, uh, like I said, not only uh, a full regular season, or at least at the time, it was uh, 16 games. Now they've expanded it to 17, which I think is incredibly stupid. But um, they had uh, what was then all 28 teams, now there's 32. And uh, all the players, except... Like I said, a few that didn't have the uh, NFLPA marketing contract. This is, this is an all-time classic. Uh, fans of the NES will, will probably agree that this is the best sports title for the system. Um, there are now a total of eight offensive plays that you can run. Four run and four pass. And before, I think there was only four total plays that you could uh, choose from. And then you can choose from uh, eight different uh, plays on defense. You can play uh, preseason. You can play the Pro Bowl. Um, see, there's uh, preseason, season game, Pro Bowl, team data. You can even look up uh, uh, team leaders, stat leaders, uh uh, all sorts of interesting stats as you play a full season. And here you get to choose whether whether you want to control a team, whether you want to coach a team, or uh, whether you want to uh, skip and let the computer play out a simulation of uh, two teams. And there's one of them, the Eagles-Packers game. You could just sit back and let the computer play the whole game. And there's... Uh, going to be injuries just just random injuries that'll happen sometimes and you can make substitutions and they'll eventually recover during the season and there's a cool little uh, scene of a player leaving the hospital <laughs> this game is really cool i i initially wasn't ready to warm up to it cuz i was so used to uh, tech mobile 1 but this game is quite awesome <laughs> and here I'm going to start my game I'm gonna play my favorite team the Buffalo Bills and I'm gonna play the Miami Dolphins and you get to choose the uh, coin toss or uh, play the coin toss and I won so I get I'm going to choose to return and Pete Stojanovic will kick off now you note that there is a blue and pink uh, part to that uh, power meter when you kick the ball. If you put it in blue, then you'll do an onside kick. So uh, I'm going to select from run plays or pass plays. Thurman Thomas is a great running back, so uh, if you run the ball, he is very, very quick. But I'm going to do a pass play to start. And my uh, receiver got a, got a lead on the uh, defender. Uh, you can choose to do timeouts, and you have three per half. Uh, you can you can punt, you can do a field goal. 
uh, when a, when a player is close to you, they are going to try to do a attack. Oh, I almost got got the touchdown. Um. But yeah, when you see a player get close to you, start moving up and down. You know, at an angle. And there's the touchdown. Thurman Thomas. But the Bills were so good back then, it's just such a shame they weren't able to win one Super Bowl. But they could be very close right now. Uh, extra points and field goals can be pretty easy. The sooner you wail on the uh, kick button, the more likely your chances of making a, a field goal or extra point are going to be. Because if you take too long, a player can uh, a player can block, and uh, you press when you return the ball. You press, uh, or when a an opponent is returning the ball, you press B to dive tackle them. And now I'm on defense here. Now really, uh, and there's a sack by Nate Odoms, and he was great for us back then. There is a way to uh, to easily pressure the quarterback, the opponent, the opponent quarterback, or the one controlled by the computer, especially if they're on a pass play. And there's Ray, ben Ray Bentley joining the uh, sack parade. And I forced a punt. Um, we'll look at that trick later. You can uh, you can always apply pressure at least. And I'm going to return the ball. And the game is a little bit more realistic than uh, than Tech Mobile. In Tech Mobile, uh, uh, a lot of players would just shed blockers or uh, shed tacklers immediately. And look at all that. Uh, real estate in front of me. You hear that little bleep sound, and that means you're under a minute left in the quarter. Yeah, there's only, uh, there's only five minute quarters, and seconds tick off faster than real time seconds in this game. But, uh, this game's, this game's not difficult. Unless you, uh, get in the playoffs, then things get a lot harder. Uh, the opponent gets gets easier to uh, the the opponent is more able to uh, break away. And yeah, Jim Kelly for the Bills, the quarterback, did not did not have the uh, NFLPA uh, marketing contract, so he's called QB Bills in this game. And time's going to run out on the first quarter. One thing I think is really cool about this game... Oh, come on. <laughs> there we go. One thing I think about... Uh, one thing I think that is really cool with this game is that there's a different music track for uh, the uh, main player, or for the first player, and the second, the second player has a different... Uh, uh, musical cue when they hike the ball. Or when they return a kick. But there is also different musical cues for player one and player two in the preseason and in the postseason in Super Bowl. And uh, the All-Star game has a, or the uh, All-Pro game, Pro Bowl, has a different musical cue too. There I forced a punt kick. Oh, that's not a very good kick. <laughs> Again, if they uh, if they are doing a regular uh, kick or a kickoff, and they have the uh, the meter in the blue, that's going to be an onside kick. And uh, the computer will do that. Uh, towards the end of the game if they're down. And I think we'll look at that later. But yeah, the uh, computer is pretty quick at uh, selecting... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. <sighs> Stop that. 
the computer is pretty quick at selecting their play. And then you'll have uh, plenty of time to select yours. I think there's like a 10 second runoff or something. Yeah. Uh, during the uh, play selection screen. And then it'll stop and you have to select your play. <laughs> there we go. And good old Thurman Thomas again. Yeah, this this game really is awesome. Uh, it was it was released kind of late into the Nintendo uh, Entertainment System's life, but uh, once I started warming up to it, I was like, oh yeah, this really is awesome. <laughs> And again, uh, most people are probably going to agree that this is the best sports title on the NES. And there were some very good sports titles. Uh, there was this, there was... Blades of Steel was pretty good. There was... Uh, even even Nintendo Hockey was pretty good. Or Ice Hockey. Uh, I really liked Kings of the Beach. I thought that was a great one, too. I liked Pro Wrestling a lot, too. There were some very good titles. Uh, sports titles. It's got a lot of time to throw, and I just got it past the defender. And yeah, not not all quarterbacks are going to have cannon arms. Really long passes might not uh, might not connect, especially if you're in the playoffs. Then uh, a lot of passes you might think should be completed will go uh, incomplete. I kind of like uh, kind of like this this tune here. Ah, poop. Well, the Dolphins were a good team back then too. They had uh, they had some very good receivers, Mark Clayton and Mark Duper, and of course Dan Marino was really awesome for the Dolphins. But the Bills just seemed to seem to be their kryptonite. <laughs> I don't know why, but I, I keep calling up that little menu there, and I didn't mean to. Uh, one thing you'll notice is that if you're on offense and you try to run through uh, blockers tangling with a defender, it won't work. You have to go around him. Oh, doink! Awesome! <laughs> Uh, can I score in 20 seconds? Probably not. <laughs> uh, because of the the rapid time runoff, um, you're probably not going to score with very little time left. And well, I caught it there. Oops. <laughs> oh well, half time. And you get a little bit of a half time show, kind of cool. <laughs> the wave. <laughs> I always thought the wave was kind of stupid. <laughs> Ooh, little bit of a panty shot. <laughs> oh, good kick. Yeah, it, this was uh, released. Uh, uh, the the Nintendo kind of petered out in like '95 or something, and this was released at the end of '91. So it was kind of late in the uh, Nintendo's life. Um, by this point, I think I was already starting to latch on to the Genesis, so I was... This kind of went under my notice a little bit. I mean, I, I'd heard of everybody talking about it, but I had already moved on to other things, and then just recently I started playing this more, and then I was like, oh, wait a minute, this is really awesome. Ooh, yeah, there I got a pass block. Yeah, this game is is really quite incredible. If if you've never if you've never played it and you've played the NES, then you are seriously missing out. Like I said, this this only had 28 teams at the time, and now there are 32, and they have just changed the uh, regular season to 17 games, which is really dumb. And this is uh, the old 16-game uh, season. 
17 weeks, with uh, one week being a buy for each team. But yeah, we will have a, uh, a listen, at least, to the different tunes in the preseason and the postseason and the Pro Bowl. I am not going to actually play a game in the preseason or the Super Bowl, um, just because uh, it takes a long, 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 long time to uh, sift through a uh, regular season. Gear up for a long-ass pass. But yeah, like I said before, uh, at the uh, screen where you can choose for every single team whether or not you want to play with that team or uh, let the computer play them or, uh, or just uh, not have anybody play them and the computer will set up a, a simulation of that of uh, that team playing a game or you can choose to coach and you can just call the plays but yeah the the teams that played back then were Buffalo Indy Miami Miami New England and the Jets in the AFC East uh, AFC Central Cincinnati Cleveland Houston Pittsburgh uh, AFC West, Denver, KC, Raiders, San Diego, and the Seahawks. They are now in the NFC uh, West. And another touchdown, Thurman Thomas. Um, teams in the NFC, uh, NFC East was Washington, Giants, Philly, uh, the Cardinals, and at that time they were called the Phoenix Cardinals, and the Cowboys. Uh, NFC Central was Chicago, Detroit, Green Bay, Minnesota, Tampa Bay. Uh, NFC West, San Francisco, Rams, New Orleans, Atlanta. And they've done a lot of shifting around since then. And they've had new teams. And later on, the Cleveland Browns uh, left the NFL. They were, they were gone and they were replaced by the Baltimore Ravens. And since then, the Ravens are still around, but the the Cleveland Browns have returned. <laughs> A lot of shifting around. Ah, I didn't catch it. <laughs> I like those little cutscenes of a of a player diving to block a pass, or a, or a catch a, glancing off a player's hands or whatever. Ah, safety. Shane Conlon was awesome for the Bills back then. Nope, oh, they're going to try an onside kick. The ball will bounce around a bit, but yeah, chances are pretty good that that you're going to recover, not not them. Well, uh 30 to nothing. <laughs> not not too bad. <laughs> I got I got a, a little bit lucky <laughs> in this game. But yeah, later on, uh, later on, we'll look at uh, some other some other cool things about Tecmo Super Bowl. Some of the uh, some of the cues from uh, the first Tecmo Bowl games or game are in this as well. Uh, there we go, James Lofton. Yeah, he was, uh, I think he'd been around a long time before, uh, before he played for the Bills. But he was, he was still pretty good. You can try a really, really, really long field goal. Um, you might be able to make it from, like, 50-plus. Uh, like I was saying, uh, no, look how much more slippery that the opponent gets... Uh, towards the end of the game, you might be able to uh, make a really, really, really long field goal. Like I said, the quicker you press the button, the kick button, and uh, I'm 
thinking it was like the A button. Uh, but the quicker you press the button, uh, the more likely you're going to make the field goal because that, that arrow will move around rapidly. And you want to... And it starts at the center, so you'll want to quickly press that button. And uh, the longer you take, the more likely a player is going to jump up and block it. You know, just like real football. <laughs> Uh, will I keep them from scoring? Maintain the shutout? Uh, incomplete pass. And again, that uh, that uh, blah, 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 sound uh, is like a uh, two-minute warning. You can uh, you can make substitutions when a player gets tired. And they'll, I think they'll have a little, uh, you can go to the, uh, you can go to a screen that shows the player's, uh, energy, and you'll be able to, uh, substitute them. I didn't do any substitutions in this game. I, di I didn't <laughs> really need to with, a with a blowout like this. But yeah, I got, I got lucky a few times with, uh, eh, there's another sack by, uh, Shane Conlon. I got lucky a few times uh, with uh, the opponent missing a, an easy catch or something. But you can press, I think it was the uh, A button uh, when you're on defense. Ah, crap, he's wide open. Mark Duper. But you can press, uh, like I said, I think the A button while you're in defensive formation before the snap and you can choose one of the uh, other defenders to control and you'll see the number over them and there's their onside kick and nope I recovered can I score one more time with 39 seconds left yeah there's there's the change screen where you can choose to uh, uh, take a substitute instead of the starter. But like I said, there's like a, a 10 second runoff of time during the uh, uh, during that uh, play call screen. But yeah, you press uh, I think you press was it uh, A to snap? And then I think you press A again to choose the receiver after the snap. And just keep going until you see uh, that there's a guy that's not covered. And then press B to throw the ball. And there you get your uh, stats for the, uh, for the game that you just played, which is kind of cool. And like I said, uh, we'll check uh, the schedule. You can go week, week to week of the games that are left on your schedule. This game is just so, so awesome. And we'll have a look at the standings. And it's only one game, but Bills, Indy, and Jets have all won one game. And you can look at uh, team rankings. Who's the best in the AFC? Colts, even after one game, Colts, Bills. And then uh, defense, uh, we're top five. <laughs> the the top, top four didn't even play yet. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there's just so many stats that this game keeps track of. It's, it's really incredible. And there's passing leaders. Bills, uh, aver average yards is the, uh, the uh, stat that they're looking at. And receiving, receiving leaders, James Lofton, number one. Just all sorts of stats you can look up. Just, wow, this game was just mind-blowing for the uh, NES. I'm, I'm still really impressed. I mean, for 1991, good God. <laughs> and like I said, there's still, uh, there's still uh, um, preseason... 
uh, postseason Pro Bowl Super Bowl that we haven't even scratched. <laughs> uh, the the cool trick uh, that makes makes your defense better, and here's some stuff about me and my uh, players, is uh, you press the A button to select a defender before the snap when you're on defense, and uh, you choose the nose tackle, and right when the snap is, uh, right when they do the snap, you uh, move downward at an angle and then right and you'll be able to slip between the uh, the offensive lineman and and uh, sack the quarterback pretty easily if they go back on uh, to pass and there was a, an injury and here's <laughs> that's the cool scene that you get when they uh, come back from injury and uh, if a team wraps up their division, you get this scene. Kind of cool. The coach celebrating with the players. And when a season ends, when all 16 games are played, then you get this scene. And Buffalo wins their division with a 12-4 and record. Miami also makes the playoffs. And you see division by division, the teams that made the playoffs. Seattle and Denver made it. And again, Seattle was uh, AFC back then. AFC West. Now they're NFC West. Yeah, San Francisco was awesome, awesome, awesome back then. They had Joe Montana, which... One of the, one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. And uh, yeah, this is uh, this is the playoffs here, and the computer will simulate uh, uh, these games. And awesome, the Bengals were beaten in the first round, <laughs> and then the Bills and Broncos, and the Bills squeak by. Denver almost uh, comes back. AFC Championship moving on. Oilers and Bills. And the Bills prevail. Yeah, they were called the Oilers, the Houston Oilers back then. And they since became the Tennessee Titans. And now we have a different Houston team. And the Bills are the AFC champions. Hooray! And they were in real life that year. The 90-91 season. And they unfortunately lost barely to the Giants. Game they really should have won. <laughs> And the Giants don't make it. The Cowboys do. So the Bills will play the Cowboys in this Super Bowl. And the Bills would play the Cowboys twice in the Super Bowl. And lose both times. Once in incredibly embarrassing fashion. <laughs> and here is the Super Bowl. And we're, we're going to have this be uh, simulated as well. The music for the, uh, pre or the uh, postseason and the Super Bowl is the same, I believe. And the Bills win the Super Bowl. Hooray! They could very well do it. They have an outstanding team right now. If their uh, if their rookies, their uh, uh, rookies on defense can maybe step up and uh, apply a lot of pressure to the opposing quarterback, they could very well win the Super Bowl. It's a stacked team, and now the Bills are Super Bowl champions. And we'll get to see the ending of Tecmo Super Bowl. What a fantastic frickin' game. <laughs> there were a, a number of football games released for the NES, but this was definitely by far the best game. Best sports title, period, for the NES, I gotta say. There, they show all the, uh, all the players for the Buffalo Bills. Amidst a uh, colorful, uh, starry background. <laughs> but that is Tecmo Super Bowl, released by Tecmo in 1991. At the, at the end of 1991, 
and it reflects the uh, 1990-91 season, uh, NFL season. And, uh, yeah, generally, uh, on, on offense, you use, uh, uh, you use A to snap, and then, uh, when running with the ball, you use A to shake out of tackles, um, uh, when you're passing, you press A after the snap to choose a receiver, and then uh, you press B to throw to that receiver. On defense, uh, you press A and B to select between the different defensive players to control. And then after the snap, uh, you, you wail on A to shake off a blocker, and you press B to dive tackle the ball carrier. Uh, something I didn't mention, <laughs> Mighty Bomb Jack. How about that? <laughs> or a, a bomb jack you press up you can press up or down when kicking to to kick to the left or to the right something i didn't mention but that's tecmo super bowl and uh yeah if you play a season after you've already played a season you just replay that super bowl scenario but let's listen to some uh, tunes from uh preseason uh, postseason and the Pro Bowl, I believe in that order. Starting it up with preseason, we're just gonna listen to tunes for uh, Player One and Player Two. And I don't believe we've heard these yet. Yeah, that's two different uh, two different musical tunes for. Uh, one for player one and one for player two for each uh, uh, preseason, postseason, whatever. And now we'll listen to some postseason music. And there's the other tune. Or a, a snippet of it. And now we'll listen to some music from uh, Pro Bowl. And you can choose the AFC or the NFC. And then the other player will play the other one that you didn't pick. Yeah, some, uh, some very diverse uh, tunes. <laughs> Just let him go hut, 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 forever. And uh, there's a trick. If you make sure that no team clinches a division till after the last game in the regular season, then when the screen displaying a division title winner appears, reset the game. All teams in the playoffs, AFC and NFC, will be Buffalo. Clearly a uh, Bills fan uh, among the programmers. <laughs> and again, here is the uh, way to play defense. Uh, select control of the nose tackle on defense right across from the, the uh, center. And when the ball is hiked, move down at a, a 45 degree angle and then run right to sack the QB on a pass play. You'll at least... Uh, pressure them enough to uh, possibly harass them into uh, fourth down. <laughs> Jeff Wright. See? Got him to punt. Well, that was Tecmo Super Bowl, game number 13 in our 20 from the Nintendo Entertainment System series. Uh, great, great, great game. Released in 1991. Well, this is Crazy Clown Race, and thanks for watching Tecmo Super Bowl, game number 13 and our 20 from the Nintendo Entertainment System series. Hope you join me soon for game number uh, 12. Have a good one, everybody. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.